to the office, actual office today. So I just got on my leopard print, black slacks, black turtleneck, and I've got on my cutie patooties. Yes. You know I'm Miss Matchy Matchy. So anyway, y'all, um, I'm gonna show you, oh, I'm gonna have the rest of my salmon and that squash and zucchini, onion, green onion medley. And then I'm gonna grab me a couple of bottles of water and y'all, I'm gonna be out the door. So let's go. Come with, come with. Senate Foreign Relations Committee. We're going to get a preview of today's hearing. Uh, from what the did chair. I do? Oh, I'm trying to cut the uh, volume down. But y'all, God's timing is awesome. Do y'all hear me? God's timing is awesome. They're on the news talking about where there's another big shortage for antibiotics. And, you know, a lot of children have to be on antibiotics for whatever said reason. And honey, let me tell you something. I am so glad that they didn't have, because a lot of people would be, were going to the pharmacist and they were out. And, you know, certain people can't take certain antibiotics because they may either be immune to it or have an allergic reaction. But like I said, I am so glad God's timing. Now, y'all think about it. I'm so glad they had antibiotics when I needed them when my tooth was infected so they can go ahead on and, and they did my root canal, I thought, oh my God, if I had to have it gone, continue to go another couple of weeks or whenever they had the um, antibiotics in to get that infection off my tooth, I don't even know if I could have handled that. I'm being serious, y'all, but that was some pain. Uh, that was some pain, so anyway let me get on in here and let's go to work let's go to work let's go to work <laughs> outfit of the day y'all outfit of the day ladies what you got to say outfit of the day ladies what you got to say <laughs> y'all your girl is busy but I'm going to have my cheat day in the middle of the week because I want to and because I can. I'm going to have me some uh, Jersey Mike. Matter of fact, my boss is out getting it for me. <laughs> Y'all, my hair held up pretty good today. I put some of that freeze oil on it and it held up pretty good happy about it. I'm happy, happy, happy about it. Y'all, it's kind of nippy out here today. Nippy, nippy. Y'all, I'm telling you the truth. It is nippy out here. And it's kind of rainy. And it says 60 degrees, but baby, it feels more like 50 degrees. But anyway, y'all, uh, let's go to the house. Let's go to the house. But I was going to tell y'all that um, keeping California in prayer, haven't they been having the craziest weather, y'all? I mean, like the craziest weather that I've ever even heard. Flooding, winter, uh, snow. I mean, you know, in places where it normally don't snow. Yeah. Y'all better know and believe in uh, global warming because it re it's real. It's very real. It's almost like people who don't believe it, they don't want you to believe your lying eyes. I guess your eyes lie when they see what they see. But anyway, keeping just keeping everybody in prayer that may be in harm's way with uh, flooding and, and just like with most places, when you don't, or when you're not used to, uh, you know, certain types of weather, and you live in a area in which they're not used to that type of inclement weather, or different types of weather, and then they're not equipped, they don't have the, 
I don't know, equipment, the different types of resources needed because they're just not used to, um, they're just not used to it. So again, I'm praying that uh, all be well and that any and everybody in those areas that need assistance, they truly can uh, get to help and get to it quickly. Oh gosh, I hate these merge on because there's so many people merging on. You have to um, just about come to a complete stop to let people merge on. You understand what I'm saying? You don't know what I was saying. I need to exit off right here. I'm telling you, honey, when you're driving, and like I said, you know, the company I work for, we've got remote locations all over, and I went to the to our big corporate office today, so I'm in the big city today, the big city. So I got to look out for the traffic, the traffic. These people who are what they call uh, speed demons, honey. Honey, these people are speed demons. And if they and they ain't gonna wait for you, they ain't, they ain't trying to let you get in, honey. You can tell when you're in the big city versus the old country town road, and you no longer are behind John Deere tractors. And they, they you know, uh -uh, no. Nah, when you're in the big city, baby. You got to pretty much... I'm, see, I'm going to let y'all in. See, y'all ain't going to do me like that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Because <laughs> I understand. It's just like these big truck drivers. These truckers... Let me tell you something, y'all. I don't... When they're, when they're trying to merge onto the highway, and if I have an opportunity to slow down and let them get over because they're carrying a lot of weight they're transporting about 80,000 pounds 40,000 pounds probably full of product and or 40 to 45,000 pounds of nothing but truck so you got to respect these truckers let them get on in now you know there are some truckers that are wow and hell on wheels if you will if you will but for the most part I respect these truck drivers I let them merge in and merge out when they need to because that's a lot of weight they're carrying and pulling. And honey, the traffic is for real, for real. The difference between 10 and 15 minutes, because I was doing something and I, I wanted to get finished with it and get it done. And I probably should have got up, got up 15 minutes ago and, 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 and got on up out of there. But look at the difference between 10 and 15 minutes. Big difference. Big difference. But y'all know, I didn't want too much of nothing today. Today was a um, go to work with me. I did little snippets when and where I could. But y'all, y'all know how it is. Uh, but you know, of course I had the video because I had to show y'all my outfit of the day. Ladies, what you got to say? Leave your comments in the comment section. <laughs> yeah. Now, like I said, I do uh, I do enjoy working at remote at home. Don't get it twisted. I love it. I'm glad we are permanent at home, but it is good to go into the office every once in a while and meet face to face with your coworkers. So you can hash things out, brainstorm together, discuss some things, show each other some things. Um, yeah, so sometimes it's necessary. Sometimes you, everything can't just be put in the email. Sometimes it's good to get, to get knee to knee and hip to hip and hammer out some things uh, to get the job done. It, you know that that's that's necessary. So, but anyway. But other than that, I did want to just pop up, pop in and say hey, and um, just let California know that I'm praying. And not only that, uh, with the weather in California, did I hear it correctly too that, um, let me make sure I take, I take the right exit. Um, did I also hear 
that one of their major school systems over there are on strike and all of them, you know, a bunch of, you know, of course, I think they said the biggest school district or whatever over there, the, uh, the teachers or whatever, you know, they've gone on strike, honey, ain't nobody in the classroom. Is that still going on? I'm going to uh, make sure I ch uh, check out the news tonight. But anyway, I, just keeping that in prayer that they get a resolve for that. And it's really the truth. Uh, seemed like I heard some of the workers say or the teachers say they could, they could go and work for a fast food restaurant and make more money than what they're making uh, teaching or some, something something like that. Like I said, you know how when you're getting dressed and you hear the TV from a distance? And uh, I said, oh my gosh. But yeah, I think they went on strike, was it Monday? Or something like that? Or something? Or something? But you know what? Sometimes you have to do what you have to do so you can get people's attention. You know? You have to take that risk. If, if sometimes, if, if they're not hearing you and they're underestimating you, they're marginalizing you, and they're undervaluing you, that's what you sometimes have to do. You have to put a pause for the calls so they can look at your clauses. Y'all hear that? Sometimes you gotta pause for the calls so they can pay attention and look at your clauses. What are the terms and conditions and clauses of my employment? Okay, y'all got to run us some more money. We do a lot, you know, and that's in any job. That's really in any job. You know, if you feel like you are standing on right and you've got the law backing you and you got the principal and you got paperwork or you got, you know, backing you, Sometimes you have to fight for your rights. You really do. Isn't that what the civil rights movement is about? And other movements are about? Sometimes you have to fight for your right. You have to stand flat-footed and, you know, take a risk. And, and ask the Lord to order your steps. Ask the Lord. Lord, I believe this to be what I need to do to get justice, to get satisfaction, to get whatever that is, is. Lord, order my steps in your word. Order my steps. Oh my God. And believe, and believe it. Don't do it with malice, intent in your heart. But truly do it based on the fact that, Lord, I believe this. So I stand with, you know, with all the teachers and, and anybody in the public school system that um, just want to be heard and recognized and valued. But yeah, I heard that and I thought, oh my goodness. So anyway, it's a lot, it's a lot of things going on around the world in general. And we just have to lift up every situation in prayer. Look, there ain't going to never be enough things that ain't going on in the world that we can't pray about. It may not be affecting us directly, but indirectly we are all in this thing together. And sometimes we just going to have to stand in the gap for others. They might have to be out there on the front line fighting and, and protesting and, and you know, but then us, those of us who are in the household of faith, who, who believe in those causes on behalf of others, that's where we have to humble ourselves and pray and stand in the gap for, for those who are out there. They ain't got time to do certain things. You know? They ain't got time to comb their hair and shine their shoes. We sometimes have to stand in the gap on behalf of others and pray without ceasing and be the Aaron, be the old Aaron of the world like Moses had Aaron. You know, we have to stand in the gap and hold people's arm up as they out there in battle, like really in battle. So anyway, y'all, y'all know I can get going and get y'all happy. This is a, a edition of All Aboard. Let's get on this train. <laughs> 
But anyway, y'all, it is raining. It is raining. That rain is coming down. And it's a cold rain, too, y'all. And it was, I thought it was supposed to start uh, warming up. I thought it was supposed to be like 70 some degrees, almost 80 degrees today. I guess the uh, weatherman said, uh, uh, no, no. I guess uh, uh, Mother Nature said, uh, no, no. Come again. But anyway, y'all, let me go. I love you. God bless. And may the peace of the Lord be with you. And I'll see you on the next video. All right, y'all. Bye.